Hey, it's Allison from Computers.mom with a quick tutorial on Venmo privacy settings. Venmo has long allowed you to keep your transactions private, but in 2021, a journalist was able to identify President Biden's Venmo account and see who his friends were. In response, Venmo has added an option to hide your friends list from public view. In this video, I'll show you how easy it is to check and adjust your privacy settings in the Venmo app. First, on your phone or iPad, locate and open the Venmo app. See all these transactions? These are real transactions between real people who haven't changed their privacy settings, so anyone using the app can see them. The dollar amounts aren't visible, but the people and descriptions are. This can be entertaining, but you may prefer more privacy for your own transactions. To fix this, first tap the stack of bars on the upper right-hand corner, which is usually called the hamburger menu. Next, tap Settings. And then in the settings, tap Privacy. In the top section, you can set who is able to see your transactions. Anyone on the app, just your Venmo friends, or only you, which is the most private. I'm going to select Private. The app reminds me that we have the option to set the privacy for each transaction individually, which is fine. But to confirm that you want the setting on always, tap Change Anyway. Now any future transactions will be private, but the old ones are still out there. Let's make the same change for past transactions. Tap Past Transactions and then select Change All to Private. The app makes you confirm this change twice, so go ahead and tap the prompts and then tap the back arrow to return to the privacy page when you're done. All set. But you know what's not here? The option to make my friends list private. If you don't see the friends list option, it means that you don't have the latest version of the Venmo app. You can fix this easily. Just go back to the home screen and open the App Store. When the App Store page opens, you may see a message like this about what's new in the App Store. Just tap continue to dismiss it. Apple makes it surprisingly hard to find updates in the App Store. To see the updates available for your apps, on the main App Store page, tap the circle on the upper right corner of the page to get to your account. Then you have a choice. You can tap Update All right here to install updates for all of your apps. But if you're in a hurry, you can also do just one. I only want to update the Venmo app right now, so I'm going to tap Purchased right here. To be clear, purchases don't mean you paid for the app. It's just what Apple calls the list of all the apps on your account. You can search the list for a specific app by tapping in the search box and starting to type its name. As you type, the list gets narrowed down to apps that contain those letters. See VE in Venmo and VE in Google Drive. Tap Update next to the app you want and just the Venmo app begins updating. This will take a while. I'm going to speed it up. You don't have to wait around in the App Store while it updates, though. If you leave the App Store and return to the home screen like this, you can see that the app continues updating right here. I found that I had to update the Venmo app more than once to get the latest version with the new privacy option. Once the update is completed, open the app again, and once again tap the hamburger menu, then tap Settings, then tap Privacy. And you can see you have the new option, Friends List. Tap on Friends List and you will see essentially the same options as before, but these are for friends instead of for transactions. I'm going to make my Friends List private, and I'm also going to turn off the option to appear in other users' Friends Lists. And that's it. You're done. Thanks for watching. Please tap like if you found this helpful. Feel free to leave comments and questions below, and be sure to subscribe for more Computers.mom videos.